Hey guys, this is Soldier Girl. This is my uh, update video of the Master Cleanse. Now today is day eight, so I'm gonna give you a count of the last, the first seven days of the Master Cleanse. Off the back, I did start off at 147 pounds and eight, uh, 147.8 pounds, um, and this is day eight. So for the first two, first seven days, I did lose 10.2 pounds. I'm down to 136. Point, no, 137.6. All right, so 10 pounds, you guys, in seven days is crazy. Um, but yeah, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am working out while I cleanse. I'm not doing every single day though, because generally speaking for me, my body, I usually will lose at least a pound, a pound and a half per right. days that I work out. Day. I could basically lose anywhere between, I would say a pound and a half, maybe a pound and a half to even three pounds. And so for me, I try not to work out too much while I cleanse for that reason. Um, not just that, but I want to go for 21 days. I only got to 16 days last time. And I did lose 15 pounds with that particular cleanse. Um, now, the first seven days went pretty smooth. My most challenging day was yesterday. Um, my sister graduated from Cal State San Bernardino, and so we went to IHOP afterwards, you guys. And I was just, and initially I was going to just go coupon while they ate, but I really wanted to go and enjoy that one with her and with the rest of my family. And so um, I, I ended up eating. I so caved. I, I didn't cave, Matt. I didn't cave. As much as I could have, but I did cave. I had, um, I had Papa's fruit from his kids' meal, which is not a whole lot. Which is, I think it was papaya, pineapples, and grapes, and then, and you know, it's just a little bit cup. And then I also had a slice of bacon from him, and then I had half of his grilled cheese. So I definitely caved big time. Well, not not big time, but I did cave. Um, I'm past that now. I resumed everything. I did my laxative tea last night when I got home. Um, but yesterday I did not drink any of, I didn't do any of the tea last yesterday on day seven and I did not do my um, my salt water flush either which was good because when we went to um, the the graduation the stadium was really really packed and so it would have sucked if I would have had to keep going getting up and stuff and I really didn't know um, if I was if I was giving myself enough time to go ahead and do that and so I decided not to do it. Um, but like I said, when I got home, I did do my tea. Um, other than that, day seven was the most challenging day for me. Um, let's see, what else can I add? Again, I am working out. I only worked out, I think, four days in the first week. The second week, I plan to just work out maybe two or three days. I'm leaning more towards just twice because I just don't want to But I'm thinking with the fact that I lost 10 pounds the first week, if I were to lose 10 pounds the second week, that would put me down to 127, which wouldn't be a bad place. For me to stop at so I'm just gonna just play it day by day and see how I feel um, although I do definitely want to challenge myself to um, do the full 21 days now for me this the only challenge I think for me in doing this is how long I go like I don't second guess or doubt that I can't do the cleanse because obviously I've been doing it since I asked right, I did it after I had it so I've been pushing it for six six years, twice a um, year. I do. You do um, have to consume the juice per day. It works out to be about. You got sixty ounces of water. You got twelve tablespoons of maple syrup grade B. You got twelve tablespoons of um, lemon juice, um, freshly squeezed, and you have half a teaspoon of uh, of Kanye, Kanye, Kanye right? Kanye of, pepper. Uh, um, whether or not you choose to go the organic route is completely up to you. If it's your first cleanse, you may not want to because it's going to cost you more. And really, the last thing you want to do is 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 go all out with organic, and it costs you all this money, and then you only do like two days or three days. Um, so that's completely up to you. Um, but the concoction once mixed will work out to be to be about. It's a little over 64 ounces. I put mine in a 64 so ounce. Any more than that, if you're making a gallon bottle, then that's way too much. And if that's way too much, all right, it's only 64 ounces, 66 ounces at the most mixed. Um, and you drink that every single day. You make it every single day. Um, you do laxative tea. It's uh, it's by Traditional Medicinals, and it's called Smooth Mood. And you do this morning and night. Okay. And if if you're not coming through very much, then you can do the salt water flush in the mornings and do the tea and, and night. And so that's pretty much what I do. You want to use unidized sea salt. Now in the past, all my past cleanses, I always use iodized salt, and that was only because I was just lazy and I want to buy the unidized kind because it costs more. Simple as that. And so I went ahead and, and, and got the unidized kind this t this time. And um, I really honestly don't see a big of that big of a difference, really. Um, I still come through more, like I normally would otherwise. And um, But the saltwater flush, you guys, is not for everybody. One way that I can tolerate it better, 
and this is just honestly by trial and error, error and experience with it, is if I put the salt water flush, if I get two water bottles, two 16 ounce water bottles, and um, I'll, I'll pour the top of one of them off, put the two um, teaspoons of sea salt into one of it, shake it up real well, and down that, and then chase it with the other clean water. That makes it easier because you're not getting 32 ounces of salt water the whole time. You're getting just 16, and then you chase it with the with the clean water, which makes it a lot easier. I also have I also learned in this cleanse too that it does it makes it easier if I just brush my teeth. So first thing I do get up in the morning, I brush my teeth really quick, and then I down it. For some, I don't know if it's the mint of the toothpaste that gives it a much of a cooling sensation going down, so it makes it a lot easier. Um, it usually will take you know between 30 to 45 minutes for you for you to start to come through, and then honestly, you're everybody's different. So it like for me, usually about an hour and a half to two hours, I'm completely done. Um, somebody asks about are you literally pooping all day? No, you're not. Basically, the only time you're gonna go to the bathroom really is after your saltwater flush. Once you're done with that, no more than two hours, you should be done within two hours, completely, you know, emptying out, and then um, from the tea, the tea may or may not cause a bowel movement. Um, when I first started cleansing, it wasn't. Um, now it does. Um, it may lead to, I would say, mild to severe abdominal cramps. So it's something that I drink right before I lay my head down. That way, if I do have any cramps or experiencing any discomfort, I can sleep through it, hopefully. There are times that I have gotten up to use the restroom. There are times that I can sleep straight through it and then use the restroom in the morning time and then follow that with my, with my, um, with my salt water flush. Um, as far as weighing yourself, I in the past have always weighed myself daily. This time I'm only weighing myself once to twice a week. Um, and I would weigh your, I would weigh myself before my salt water flush. So that way I know what I am before I put anything in my body. Um, other than that, I don't want this video to get too long and drawn out. I'm gonna toss on um, the end of this video two side by side so you guys can see if there's any differences. I definitely see differences already. As a matter of fact, you guys know that I'm corset training. I had to take it off yesterday because I honestly didn't feel like it was really doing anything because it's so it's getting so big on me where I can literally unclasp it without even loosening my strings and I'm completely closed in the back. And so I'm just gonna just not wear it. I haven't well, I haven't had it on since yesterday at three o'clock. And I'm basically just gonna wait till my um, my 22 inch um, one comes hopefully tomorrow and then I'll I'll continue my corset training with that one other than that other you than guys that, if you guys are not on my facebook and instagram i usually keep i'm keeping um them updated with my um, progress with my cleanse pretty much daily at some point more so facebook than instagram unless i add a picture then i can um say something with that picture on and post it on both avenues um and so yeah i'll leave a link in the low bar for you guys again if you guys have any other questions any issues concerns definitely leave me a message and i'll see you guys all at the end of week two of the master cleanser later guys